What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today we're going to be talking about somebody that is highly influential to this channel right here that you are watching uh, and somebody that I've looked up to for a very, very long time. If you guys haven't been around the Call of Duty scene on YouTube uh, very long, then you might not remember who X-Jaws was. But back in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, you know, these were the golden ages of Call of Duty commentators. And in that time period, X-Jaws was one of the biggest Call of Duty commentators of all time. Currently, his channel still sits at just under 1 million subscribers, uh, and that's because he's been in inactive for so many years now. But back in the day, he was pioneering Call of Duty content on this platform. He was uploading multiple times a day, tip videos, trick videos. He was one of the first to do some of the best tips and tricks videos on this platform um, and he was really pioneering that genre and he took it to a whole new level with the in the mind of x jaws series which breaks down his own gameplay and gives the uh you know feedback on what he was thinking while he was playing uh, certain spots in a particular game he was really entertaining uh he was really really hard working you could tell just by the number of videos that he was putting out it was really high quality good stuff um like i said really great guy to watch and to you know just listen to to, and also super super informative it wasn't watered down content it was very good and consistent however after a while after seeing a lot of success on YouTube and as he grew up he ended up fading away and he ended up not uploading anymore for a multitude of, of reasons uh, and there's some that are controversial some a little bit dramatic uh, and others are just him wanting to have friends you know and wanting to have a social life something that he didn't have throughout high school uh, because he was a little bit shy and also because he was putting in like 10 hours plus a day recording and editing and making YouTube videos. Of course, also balancing high school and schoolwork and all of that stuff. So it makes sense, you know, once he graduated, why he would want to actually, you know, have a social life and make friends and go out and explore. On top of that, he had all of this success on YouTube and he was making a lot of money. And he also had the idea to kind of have different businesses and different types of channels on this platform and work with other people who might already be famous in different genres and help try and make them, uh, you know, relevant on YouTube. You know, one of his ventures was bringing uh, certain, you know, rappers and artists from, you know, a different medias to YouTube and kind of have, you know, content on their website. And he tried to manage something like that. And he had a ton of different things that he was trying to do. And ultimately, after a while, uh, some people would say he quote unquote self-destructed. And, you know, I'm not going to talk anything bad about x because like I said in the beginning of this video, he is still a huge inspiration to me. And the reason that I'm making this video is because x -Jaws is back. Now, he probably doesn't want to be called x -Jaws anymore. There's also been some rebranding going on on his channel. Um, his name is Sam Batel that is his actual name and he's been called that a billion times you know people know him by that name as well uh, but he kind of is you know creeping away from extras and more towards uh, his new brand and his new channel where he talks about futuristic technology and technology news now obviously these newer videos on his channel aren't getting nearly enough views um, they're very very well produced uh, they're very well researched and thought out thought out and uh, you know ultimately you can tell that he is doing something that he actually loves again one of the biggest reasons for why he has never returned to YouTube is because every year Call of Duty comes out uh, and it's worse and worse and worse and he can't get that passion back and that love back for video games in general. So even though he's back and he's in a totally different genre, uh, he's making content that he loves to do and it's very, very clear and it's very obvious and you can see that uh, from what he's doing. Personally, I absolutely love the type of content that he's putting up on his channel now. Yeah, I wish it was Call of Duty maybe or maybe I wish it was some other game or something else, um, but ultimately I just missed Sam as a person. I just missed his personality. I missed the way he was very enthusiastic about things, very optimistic about things. Uh, and ultimately, you know, I'm just glad to have him back on the platform and I definitely will continue to support him. But the reason that I'm making this video is because I want to talk about what he taught me through his YouTube channel during the earlier days. When I was younger, I was obsessed with Call of Duty and I still am. I still love Call of Duty to this day, not nearly as much as I did back when Modern Warfare 2 was out or Black Ops 1 or anything like that, but I still do love Call of Duty. Uh, and he was one of the first to really, really make it big playing video games on YouTube and I saw him do that through Call of Duty. 
Now, I did see other YouTube content creators making Call of Duty content who were also very successful. Uh, back in the day, Wings of Redemption, Woody's Gamertag, those guys were making a decent amount of money uploading Call of Duty gameplays with commentaries over them, and I, as a kid who loved Call of Duty and thought that I also had a good personality, liked to, you know, would like to make content just like that, and seeing them be so successful was inspiring to me. But Sam, or X Jaws, took it to a whole new level for me. I got to see him grow his channel through, you know, constant hard work, grinding, uploading every single day, doing everything that he can, and just being a genuine good guy, grow from a small nerdy YouTuber to somebody who is hanging out with actual celebrities, actual artists, uh, and moving to California and doing all this stuff, you know, and back in the day, you know, this sounds like the traditional YouTube story, right? This sounds like what all the YouTubers do these days once they get big, but he was one of the first and one of the biggest and the most inspiring to me because I, like I said, I got to watch this kid who went from making Call of Duty tips and tricks videos to where he's driving these really fast cars and I got to see him you know meet Justin Bieber and you know all this stuff and it, it kind of like blurred the lines between like YouTube and actual you know just the fame of being a youtuber and for me I was like blown away I was like oh my god look you know this kid is so passionate and so enthusiastic and energetic now uh, and he's so hard-working and has really has a passion for making content like this and he really wants to entertain people and teach people how to be better at the game uh, and he just had such an entrepreneurial mindset that when I grew up I, you know watching that I also realized that I'm very very similar in that way you know I am very entrepreneurial and I am very passionate about and entertaining you guys and you know bringing to you very good content or the best content that I could possibly make and I really do attribute a lot of me being on this channel to people like extras and extras in particular so if you are watching this extras and I really really doubt it and may, may, may I just call you Sam we'll just we'll stick with Sam now uh, if you are watching this thank you so much for all the inspiration you've given me over the years I definitely wouldn't be on YouTube almost two years now if it weren't for your videos uh, and I love YouTube and I love doing it and I aspire to to be in that position that you once were. I aspire to be on the top of the Call of Duty, you know, content creator totem pole. I, I, I just, it, it was such an inspiring thing to see back in the day. And maybe, you know, maybe I am romanticizing the era and maybe that era is completely dead. And maybe there's never going to be a Call of Duty commentator who's super, super mega on YouTube. You know, maybe it's always going to be vloggers and it's always going to be prank channels and, you know, cooking channels and, and all this other stuff. But I want to push the envelope. I want to get there. And I just wanted to thank Sam for all of the inspiration that he gave me, uh, you know, as a kid in high school growing up and, and just showing that, you know, if you really do work hard at something and you really do put your mind to your passion you can make it a, a job and an occupation and more than just a hobby uh, and you can turn it into something that is just amazing and incredible so Overall, I'm super excited that Sam is back on YouTube. If you guys have never heard of Xjaws or you've never seen his videos, I'll link his channel down below. You can head on over there, subscribe, watch some of his newer stuff, and maybe you could even go and watch some of his older stuff. I don't know if he's going to keep it all up there or if he's going to really go hard with the rebrand uh, and delete it all. So just wanted to give him a quick shout out. I wanted to thank him for all the inspiration that he's given me over the years. And I really hope he stays consistent. It's, it's looking a lot more promising now than it ever has been before, so I really do hope that he stays consistent he sticks with it and continues to upload the content that he loves to make because that is better than nothing at all and I really do miss you bro so thank you guys so much for watching and welcome back to YouTube Sam if you could make sure you leave a like on this video that would be really awesome and I would really really appreciate it subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you want to see more videos like this one and comment down below telling me what you remember of Xjaws and if you miss the dude anyway thank you guys so much for watching this has been on the and I will talk to you later peace